Wondering how to apply for food stamps? You're not alone. If you've never applied for food stamps before, the process can be overwhelming and confusing. But don't worry, we'll show you what you need to do. I'm Nicole from LowIncomeRelief.com, where we help millions of people save money and get free stuff. So first of all, what is food stamps? Food stamps is also called the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, and it's a federal program that the United States runs to help people purchase food when they can't do it on their own. You will receive the money on an EBT card, which operates very similar to a debit card, but it can only be used to make qualifying food purchases. For more information on what you can buy with a food stamps card, be sure to check out our other video, Seven Surprising Things You Can Buy With Food Stamps. So, who qualifies for food stamps? You should apply for food stamps if you are low income and having a hard time purchasing food on your own, or having a hard time meeting your other bills. This program serves people who meet certain income and resource requirements. Sometimes you may be surprised just how high those income limits are. So in my experience, it's always worth looking into because as long as you're honest on your application, the worst they can do is say no. You will be asked for a lot of information when you fill out your food stamps application. If you gather all of the information that you're gonna need before you begin the process, it shouldn't take more than about 30 minutes to complete the application. So before you get started, Make sure you watch this so that you know what you need to find. You will need information about your household members, including their social security numbers, income, and assets. You will be asked about any vehicles, real estate, stocks, or other assets that are owned by any member of your household. You will also be asked about your household expenses, such as housing and utilities. If you have a disability, you may be able to get more food stamps every month if you can prove that you have certain medical expenses. Gather any evidence you have of expenses such as dentures, eyeglasses, prescriptions, vitamins, and transportation to your medical appointments. You may also be able to receive more food stamps if you can prove that you have unusually high utility bills or other major expenses. That's because your food stamps allotment is determined by deducting your expenses from your income. If you can prove that you have higher than usual expenses, you may be able to receive extra food stamps every month. Once you've gathered all the information that you need, you're prepared to fill out the application. You can choose to do this in person at your local welfare office, but the easiest way that I've found to apply for food stamps is to do it online. This is where it gets complicated because even though the food stamp program is available throughout the United States and it's authorized at a federal level, it is administered by your local state which means that every state has its own application website, its own criteria and rules and application. Sometimes the applications are two pages, sometimes they're 26 pages. It really just depends on where you are. But fortunately, we have a list of all of those state application websites and the information you need at lowincomerelief.com. After you complete your application, you should receive your food stamp card and first disbursement within the next 30 days. In some cases, if you're very low income, have very few resources, or you're in an emergency situation, you may be able to expedite that process and receive it within seven days. On an ongoing monthly basis, you'll receive your food stamp money on the same day every month. Now, some states disperse them on the first, some disperse it based on your case number or the last first letter of your last name or your application date. But we have all that information for you at lowincomerelief.com as well. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful to you. If you do apply for and receive food stamps, make sure you head over to lowincomerelief.com slash EBT to learn how you can use that EBT card to get free or discounted admission to over 450 museums nationwide how you can get a discounted Amazon subscription with it, and do all sorts of other incredible things with your food stamp card. Again, that's at lowincomerelief.com slash EBT, and I hope we'll see you there.